Hey, greetings. Thanks for tuning in to Peace If You Can Find It. I want you to listen to this for a minute. Okay, listen to this. Hey. Peace if you could find it. Hey, I want to delve into how to survive the first 90 days after collapse. You didn't think I was going to come with something good to say. Remember, I'm twisted, dark, pessimistic, cynical, all of that. That's where we live. I'm seeing how they are have swept the internet of what's going on. They, they sweeping it. It's hard to find anyone to talk about it anymore. They are shifting us or them. I see what they're doing now. But like sheep, so many are just going along with the flow. We are so easily to be fooled. They got us where they want us, like sheep. They say that when there's a problem in the circus, they send in the clowns. And they have sent in so much distraction for us. And we just go along like the way. Even on social media, the individual journalists who are making a killing, everybody's getting paid off of someone else's sorrow. One way or another, people are getting paid over this shit. But they just shift into it. Because when they tell you to stop talking about what they said, stop talking about, you better stop talking about what they said. You better stop talking about. We are so controlled. And so many just don't even know it. I tell you. In that book, and I don't like to refer to it, but they said wisdom brings sorrow. It does. It brings sorrow. But ignorance ain't bliss. I still would rather be knowing I'm in a fight and in a war and there's a bullseye on my back than to just be walking around here like a sheep. You know, there's some knowledge on how to govern yourself. But anyway... I don't made this too long, but briefly, it's hard for me when any type of incident happened, catastrophe, and I believe in this climate change, the 2%, I'm into it because I can't find these channels anymore on YT. And every day, all day, all around the world, they pinpointed earthquakes, tornadoes, melting the animals dying because the snow is melting too quick the, the polar bears are dying it is so they have destroyed it and which make me wonder they building all these bungalows and undergrounds and storing up Prussian blue it's not gonna help you because you gotta come out who gonna clean up this mess but whenever a disaster happened I'm like is it natural or is this purpose I my mind goes there now. I don't trust nothing no more. At all. And whatever they keep pushing, go to, I, I go the opposite. So, it's either, is it natural or is it the usual suspects? That's where I get a suspicious mind. But anyway... Can you survive 90 days if a disaster should happen? Huh? So many are going to, they warning us, they telling us what they're going to do. And they want you to get prepared. They're telling you. Do you have enough medication? That, that's what one thing. So many people are going to be eliminated. 
They know what they get ready to plan to do. They building all these bunkers and underground tunnels that look like mansions, but they still got to come out. That's how my mind is thinking. You got to come out to the mess that you left behind. Who going to clean it up? It doesn't make sense to me. And even if you survive that, the waters are so contaminated. Irreversible. The air. How you gonna clean that mess up? You can't undo what was natural. You know, fucked it up. Come on now. And the food, it's just, it's just madness. Other madness. <laughs> And I'm going to end and come back because I want to finish talking about what, I don't know, folks going to do to survive the first 90 days after they do what they going to do. I'll come back. Hey, let's see if my click will work. I can't find a clicker. I can't find nobody to help me with my channel. Nothing. Oh, shit.